Hello and welcome, I'm Young Wolfo and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about MC Edit. So this screen here is the, the page you'll see when you first open up the application. So you start off by either creating a new world there or loading a world, so I'll just load a world. So here you can see all the levels that I've got, um, Survival Island, um, that's the Hogwarts castle that's currently being featured on the, the Minecraft forums. I'm going to open up Valhalla which is my main map, my main world. So here we are. Um, so as you see here, um, I can fly about freely, go pretty much anywhere I want. Um, this little block here represents the player, so you can see my face. That says where I'm standing and what direction I'm facing. Um, now, as you can see right now, I have a little block right in my face. That's a glitch that's being caused by running MC Edit at the same time as Fraps. So um, what would normally happen is, see if I had my mouse hovering over that little bit of stone there, that little stone would be selected. So just have to put up with this, we'll use the, the alternate selection method if I right click. So now you can see I can now move freely, there's no mouse on the screen. And that block will be a set distance away from me no matter what I do. And I can use the scroll wheel rolling in towards me or rolling away from me to control how far away it is. So I'm going to have to use this method. So um, I move left and right with the um, A and D keys, and forward and back with W and S, and Q moves you up, and Z moves you down. Or you could also just hold forward and sort of fly about the place quite, fl quite freely in that way. So as you can see here, I have a, a set of stairs that I've just left hovering in the middle of nowhere, and this is where I'm going to build a wee spawner room. So to start with, I'll need to select an area, so I'll pick where I want it to start, so we'll start right at that block, um, left click, and that puts the first selection down, and as you see I can move out, move up, down, and that sort of drags open a three-dimensional cube, and that's the area I'm going to fill in with stone. So I'll just do that, and that gives me a reasonable floor, and um, now that I've got an area selected it's very easy to edit it. So what I want to do is maybe, I'm going to make this a spawner room with creepers in it. So I'm going to grab the bottom. Now to do that, I'll just go underneath it and right click, which puts me back into this view with the mouse. And I can grab any side I can see, so I can grab that side and um, drag it out that way or back in that way, just leave it where it was. Or I could grab the bottom and drag it down. So I'm going to drag it down three blocks, like so. So that means that even if a creeper explodes, it's not going to go through the floor. Now that I have selected that area, for me, I'm going to hit the Fill and Replace tool, which is here, and select Stone, OK, and Fill to confirm the selection. So now we've got a stone platform in which to place the spawner. And I'm going to go a little bit further than that. I am going to select, let's see here, um, this tool here. I'm going to come out, another two, and go up to form a wall. Let's see. Do I just get the right kind of distance? And that looks not too bad. I'll not bother making big thick walls. I can sort that out later. So now I've selected that again. The fill and replace tool. Select stone. Okay, and fill. So that's one wall done. But you know what? This method works, I'll hit deselect as well, let's me create the next one. This method works, but it's quite slow. <clears throat> the quickest way to make a room that I've found is to actually just make a solid block of stone. Let's see if I can get this in the right place there. And fill up so I've got every block covered. So that fills that perfectly. So now I go to the fill and replace tool. Stone, OK, Fill. So now I've got a big solid stone block. I'll maybe actually make that a little bit a little bit bigger. Um, fill with stone, fill. So now what I'm going to do is deselect that. And I'm now going to select a little area inside it. So um, start off just by selecting the same area. So select. Now I'm going to select the entire cube again. Go. So this glitch in MC Edit is a pain. Tried to use it with fraps. Right. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to every surface and I'm going to drag it in one block. So that surface in, um, one block in, to the other side, one block in, one block in, oh that's two, come on back, and on the bottom I have to go three blocks up. So one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so now if I hit oh wait a minute, the top as well, don't forget that. So top needs to go down one. So now I hit the fill and replace tool, fill with air this time. Okay, fill. So now if I go inside here, I should have a little room. I'll just deselect so you can see. Yeah, there's a little room inside here now. And now I'll make a door. So let's see. There, clip one. Right click, fill and replace with air. Okay, fill. And then deselect. And that's me built a spawn room. So the next thing to show you is how to add a spawner to this room. I'll put it over here so it's well away from the door. Now all I have to do is hit the 6 key on the keyboard. And you won't be able to see this, but on my screen a uh, load window is opened up in the MC Edit Schematics folder. And I'm going to go into the spawners folder inside there, which just comes with the program. And let's see, I'm going to scroll down until I see... Where's Creeper? Creeper spawner. Okay. Open. So now you can see I have a creeper spawner here, and I could just move it back and forth, I can place it anywhere I like. I'm just going to put it right about here. That means it won't spawn anything outside this wall during the night time. So now that I've placed that, I have to click the import button, which will actually place it in the world. Then, As you can see down here, I have seven unsaved edits, because none of the stuff I've done up till now has been saved. So you press and hold the control button and either press this save button here or press control S. I'll just click the button there and let go and there, saved. So I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to load up Minecraft and show you the result. Okay, I'm now in Minecraft and uh, make, make sure I'm armed properly with my activated weapons. That'll do. So uh, I'm going to head up into my new spawn room. And there we go, creeper spawner. Let's, uh, oh, there we go, oh, there we go, and thanks to the thick floor it can't break through. So that's how you make a spawn room, um, any type of spawner that you have the schematic for you can place wherever you like. Now I'll just go back to MC Edit and show you a couple of other features. Okay, so I'm back with my, my little spawner, and I don't want to keep this there, so I'm just going to quickly do this, let's see. I will select from here, drag up, let's make sure I'm not destroying any of my terrain. No, it's good. Not destroying anything I don't want to. Now right click, fill and replace with air, OK, and fill, and deselect. So that means that that spawner I just made is totally gone and I don't need to come back here later on and delete it. I'll just, yeah, I'll get them later. So next thing I want to do is show you how to create a schematic. So I'm just going to go over here. Um, so yeah, this is the my original spawn point. That's where that little block you can see sort of there is. So that's my spawn point on this map. And this house is the house I created when I first started Minecraft before I knew what I was doing with the game. So um, I'm going to create a schematic of this house, including my dock and everything. So let's see, I'll go down here, well below it. And I'm going to start selecting an area, say here. Doesn't matter too much. And I'm just going to go all the way up here, make sure I get the whole base and select. So just check, I've got everything. I've got my dock, got my, my lovely trees, and go under the ground and yep, I've got my all my important tunnels and everything. So that's good. Um, so now all I have to do is right click to bring the mouse back, click on the export schematic button. Now you can't see it, but again, I'm in a save folder where I can save schematics. And I'm going to save this as first house schematic. So first house. Save. So that's it. And um, that's now saved as a schematic. I can deselect. Now I will be back in a second. I am going to load up another map. If I don't even need to go anywhere. Hold control 
Um, let's see, uh, load world. I'm going to move my house into Hogwarts. Um, well, yeah, I better save the changes before I leave. Right, so this is me and my Hogwarts map. Well, not my say my Hogwarts map. This is one that was made to, that was made by someone who has much more talent than I do on the Minecraft forums. I recommend you download this map, by the way. It's absolutely amazing. So I found a little area of grass over here that is just about to load. Here we are. And I'm going to place my house here just so I can have a home near Hogwarts. So all we need to do is we press the 6 button again, just like I did before. Um, I select first house schematic, because that's what I called it. And as you can see, there is now a box that contains my home. So I'm just going to place that, let's see. So the dock's about flush with the ground. About there. And um, now I right click, import, and deselect. So now I have a, a full house inside the Hogwarts map. So I can go in here and do whatever I like. Now one other cool thing uh, with schematics. So I'll load it up again. I'm doing the same thing. I press 6. I select first house schematic. Open it. So now I've got another house that I can place in exactly the same way. And there's things you can do with this. I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can see. You can hit the F key to flip it upside down, which is always fun. You can press G to mirror it. So I'll reverse it so it's exactly opposite to the way you had it originally. So as you can see, the dock is now facing the other way. Um, you can hit R to roll it, which sticks on its side, which is a little bit loopy. Yep. Flipping it all the way upside down. But all I'm going to do is, let's see, oh yeah, you can also rotate it with E. But I am going to flip it, because I kind of like the idea of having an upside down house. So I'll put that, let's see, put it there, just for loopiness sake. Import. Take a wee while to load that all in. And um, Control S to save that. That'll take a wee while because I made a lot of edits there. Now there's two more things I'm going to do before I go into Minecraft to show off what was just done there. When this finally manages to save. Yep, there we go. You can tell it had a lot of work to do when it goes red. So there's two, two little buttons here. I'll just deselect that area. Um, this is the move player button. So I'm just going to put myself uh, let's see, there so I can very quickly get into the look away. I think I'm, yeah, that's perfect. And this button here is the spawn point. So I'm going to move my spawn point just up on top of here just for ludicrousness sake. So um, yeah, my spawn is now on top of this big area. So now I'm going to hit control and save. Right there. There we go. That's better. So I'll be back in a second. I'll show you in Minecraft. Right. That's me back in Minecraft. Um, you have to be very careful never to load MC Edit in Minecraft at the same time because that can lead to corrupted worlds. Now I'm going to load the, the Hogwarts map and see how things went. Ah. So there you can see on the floor that all my boats and such have fallen straight down. There are instantly a whole bunch of mobs in there because of the darkness. Um, it's very good for creating adventure maps. All the grass has also vanished for obvious reasons. You don't get grass underneath. It's still on the top blocks. Um, all the liquids will remain up there unless a block next to them updates. So if I were to go up there and mine out that piece of sand, then all the sand and all the water would fall. And it's the same with the the lava over there, my little lava moat. And over here we have my perfectly normal and correct way around house from my Valhalla world. So that's how you move things about between maps and build crazy contraptions like upside down homes. Um, before I decide to go and hug a creeper to finish this video off with my wand, I am going to say Thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my videos, um, favourite them or like them if you want to see more. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. He looks ripe for a hug. It's my friend. <laughs>